Hey everybody, this is Seth here. Uh, today we're going to show you what we do on how we get water into the house. It snowed about five inches last night. It's a Monday morning. You can see the snow's on everything. So we're going to show you today is that we do not have a well. And uh, there was one reason why we don't. And it's, it's because it's a money factor for us. We don't want to go out and get a loan for it. We'd rather just uh, work. Uh, hard and uh, save money for things that we sell and uh, things that we do for people and odd jobs here and there to save up that money to pay cash for that well. So we made the choice to put what they call a gravity system in our house and we put it up in our attic and that's what we're going to be showing you today. The place that we go buy the water, we have a spring on the property but it's being prepped. Uh, I didn't get to it last uh, fall, there was some things that happened. Um, that kept me from doing it. Uh, so hopefully this spring that we'll get to it and show you uh, what we're going to do with the spring and how we're going to be able to pump out of that spring so then well, we're no longer uh, using uh, uh, money or, or fuel to go get water that we can just get it here on the homestead. Be digging this uh, tank out. Let's get to it and uh, get this water in the house. <music> warm winter we're having it was a little frozen to the ground <laughs> all right we got it loaded what you looking at outlet on the bottom of the tank it's kind of frozen right now so i'm trying to figure out what's the best way to unthaw without it cracking i think what i'll have to do is get some uh, kind of warm water and that valve closed if i don't do that it'll leak out all over the road when i drive down the road it's just one of those things you gotta love winter <laughs> <laughs> area that always snows and it's always a battle and different from year to year last year we had about four or five feet of snow and this year we only have about a foot maybe a little more off and on it's melted and went away and came back made for a little bit difficult of things getting cold and freezing hey uh we're uh got everything loaded and we're gonna take you for a little bit into the small rural town that we go to to get supplies and stuff sometimes and uh this is where we're gonna be getting our water so if, if I look like I'm a little bit of pain, uh, I slipped into the into the watering hole on Saturday and it kind of tweaked my back a little bit and just loading that tank kind of aggravated a little bit more. So if I don't have the chip in my step like I normally <laughs> do, it's because I've got a little bit of a hurt back. But we're going to move forward. It's just something that happens and you just push through it and uh, you get things done. Okay, well, here we go. settlements in our area. There's not many people that live around here, mostly family. There's, they've been restoring some of the old buildings. Here's the old school building and the old teacher's house. And their goal here is they are a historical society now and their goal is to kind of preserve things um, the way it used to be. So this is where we uh, come into town and 
and uh, buy our water. It's it's kind of an interesting concept of having to buy water, but we found it a pretty good deal when uh, we c approached the the city about buying water from them. It's uh, about ten bucks for a thousand gallons, so it's a pretty good deal. It, it helps us out whenever we need to, and it allows us to use the resources that we have available for us in the meantime until we get our well. So I just got the receipt for the water and everything is a-okay. They just told me that the, the hydrant is uh, ready for me to go and uh, they got it plowed out from all the snow so we shouldn't have any problems. So we're gonna go uh, hook it up and uh, get some water. So as you see behind me, the city water system tank. This is where all the water gets pumped in from the city to be distributed out through the people. And what you see here is a uh, gravity fed uh, hydrant. It has no uh, pressure to it. It's not uh, pressurized by a pump. It just comes directly out of the big tank here. And this is the tools that I use to the water to go into the tank. So this is a hydrant wrench and this is a three inch hose. So that's what I'm going to be doing is hooking up to it and getting the water. In. So this is our generator here. Um, this is where we uh, use the, the power to run our pump that will uh, push the, the water up into the tanks. So what we got here is a black hose, standard one, uh, inch hose, three quarter inch, excuse me, um, garden hose. So we have retrofit it and cut it in half because it was such a long one that we could uh, splice it. And we ended up putting uh, a couple new clamps on it and a couple uh, male and female ends to it and this will go from the tank to the pump. You want to always prime your your hose to get water in it. So it's got a little water flowing through it so it'll help prime the A little bit of rust in it so we'll kind of let it clean out a little. Now this will prime the pump so this won't you'll have to manually do it. And then we have a spigot in here that we uh, plumbed in when we first uh, started building the house to know that this is where the water was. Gonna water for flushing toilets and washing dishes. This is just gray water because it comes right out of the city system. Um, we don't drink this water. We bring in other water for drinking and run that through our Berkey filter. Um, I suppose if we were desperate and in a pinch we probably could use this but we, we don't anticipate being there. We've got the snow and we've got other places we can get water. Tanks we watch specifically for they are FDA food approved. They're BPA free 
and um, they were used, they had sugar water in them. They used them for treating potatoes and onion rings at a local farm. All right, thanks for watching our video, and uh, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and share that video if you like it, and any video else that we've got out there, go ahead and share, guys. That's how we get our word around, and, and we just thank you for your time.